Hello and welcome to Mudstacle TV. We are here at Nuclear Races for the first ever Nuclear Challenge Cup, a competitive race the likes of which we have not seen yet. There are mandatory completion obstacles, there are penalty obstacles, so fail them at your peril. It's going to be a very competitive race and we have men on the ground catching all the action for you, so stay with us. Connor and Tristan have made quite a convincing break from the rest of the pack. With them is Richard Horton, a duathlete on his first ever OCR. Tristan may have dropped back a bit, but Richard is still really giving Connor a run for his money at this stage. This is where Connor's strength really comes into play. Colin Peck has now joined the race for the podium, but Connor is way ahead now. Now it's just the Connor show. With Connor out ahead, it's all about this struggle for the podium now. Tristan, Jason Bronick, and Colin Peck are all within striking distance of each other. around a five minute lead, Connor is still zipping through the obstacles super quick. He is taking no chances, but he comes in a very comfortable first. I'm here with the winner, Connor Hancock. Did you expect a lead like that? No, to be honest, but um, no. <laughs> so, so what happened out there? How, how did, Were you right there from the start? Or? Uh, I are up front with a guy, Traffley, called Rob and Tristan Steed. Uh, I knew this course were going to suit me, it was quite obstacle ever, uh, a lot of nice trails. Uh, only chance I thought Tristan had had to be fair were is a lot of open running, which yeah. he's a quicker runner than yeah. me. But luckily I managed to get my foot down in between obstacles, I got a lead about three mile in and managed to keep it. I had Ross Brackler uh, running next to me throughout, he were just putting me to shame to be fair, he were pacing me on fields uh, and that was it, I kept lead, felt really good, finished strong. Oh thank you, that's brilliant, well done. 
Oh, I'm glad you've had a good day out there and now you're a thousand pounds richer. Back with the battle for second and Tristan takes a bit of a fall on the quarter pipe. This leaves Jason Bronock free to overtake him at the stage. In the final stages, Jason and Tristan are neck and neck. They are both angling for second and it is so tight. But Tristan is quicker off the mark on the last obstacle and takes second ahead of Jason Brunnock. Right, I am here with Tristan Steed and Jason Brunnock who have just come in second and third respectively. Tell me about your race. Uh, fast race. Uh, you had a couple of I don't know, I don't recognise them before, uh, guessing they're cross-country runners. Whoa, first half, they just shot off. Uh, obviously, they weren't obstacle racers, so the obstacles, I think, they struggled with a little bit, but yeah. it was a quick race, quick race, and then Jason snuck off on me on the end, came out of nowhere. came off the rig and did the bear crawl, they were crawling around, I was like, oh, look, Tristan caught him up. I'm so cold, my face is... Um, pretty numb at the moment so I can't really talk very well. <laughs> you're doing well, you're doing well. Well yeah it was really close at the end then, very close. Right. You, did you fail the ramp as well? Apparently it's only one uh, attempt on the ramp. Oh, well that's a bit <laughs> annoying. Um, so oh. how do you think this format works guys? Is this the future oh, of competitive yeah, really, racing? Really well. It worked, worked really well, it was brilliant. Yeah. Good, good. What do you think of it? Uh, I really enjoyed the penalties, I thought it worked well. I think having the Having the fear factor for the uh, stairway to heaven and the low rig, yeah. I think it was really good. It sort of okay. made it, you know, you think about like Olympic biathlon, you've got one shot and if you mess up, then pretty much you're out of the competition. And that same thing, if you didn't get the, the wristband to skip the uh, jumps course, you, was out, you, you were out of the race pretty right. much. Well, you've heard it here first. This is the future of competitive racing in the UK. Thank you, Tristan, and thank you, Jason. You can go and warm up now. Thank you. Well done, guys. <laughs> Second, third. Three, <laughs> one, two, three! <laughs> <laughs>